I'm about to tell you about a book that has proven answers for all of us. It is called Breaking Generational Curses. It is a practical guide for freeing the next generation from all the things we have had to personally deal with. This is not your normal generational curses book. It is a sobering look at how the things we have hated and struggled with in our lives are passed on to our children. It offers the clearest and surest way to stop the curse from going any further. You have the power to stop generational curses. You should teach your children how to resist these curses. Your family's lifestyle is the greatest safeguard against demonic invasion. Let's watch Don Norai, author and founder of Destiny Image Publishers, as he talks about his book, Generational Curses. It's amazing how we don't, uh, we don't think that sometimes our personal actions really have anything to do with generational curses. So we get our kids together and, and uh, you know, we bind devils and cast out devils. We shake them. We do all these externals. Uh, we, we don't let them watch certain television shows. We don't let them go to certain movies. We do all these things that restrict them. But the main influential portal into their hearts are the parents. Mm -hmm. So they close up all these other avenues, but the main place they get poison is from parents. And a lot of times, it, it, and most of the time, it happens with the parents totally unaware of what's going on. But we block these portals in us by our own repentance. And repentance, not just to the Lord, but repentance to our children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When, when, when we demonstrate something that uh, should not be in our lives and uh, the, you know, the next day nothing spoken of it, our, our children absolutely begin to get the idea that that particular action is acceptable. Right. And even if it's taught in Sunday school that it's not acceptable, mm -hmm. you have demonstrated that it is. Uh -huh. So if they don't learn that, uh, if they, if they don't learn that this is unacceptable behavior, then they learn that you can be hypocritical about it right. by talking against that particular thing in public, but in yeah. private you're free to let all those inner hassles and struggles and problems uh, right. have their free reign in the home. Mm. So wh wh when a parent begins to be willing to repent to the children, mm -hmm not just to the Lord, but to the children. And it's hard. I, I, I remember uh, my kids were four or five years old. I say, you know what, Jonathan, daddy should not have gotten mad at you. I should mm -hmm. not have yelled at you like that. Uh, you know, I'm sorry. What you did was wrong. You know, th this has nothing to do with what you did. It ha but I should not have reacted that way. Right. Mm -hmm. I am sorry. Do you forgive me? And uh, I will work with him, and if he is not able to say, I forgive you, I don't force him. Because even that is a religious action. Right. We get him to say something with their lips that they don't mean in their hearts. Right. It's like when I was a teenager, my dad made me get a haircut. I had long hair, and I was letting the beard grow. And he says, no, hippie is going to live in my house. So he took me to a barber shop, hmm. and we're driving to this barber shop, and he says, I'm going to get your haircut. And I said to him, well, it'll be short on the outside, Dad, but it's long on the inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so right. nothing, it didn't matter. Right. It didn't matter. But the issue is to be able to show our children that the things that are wrong are wrong. Right. Even if I do them, even if mom does them, dad does them, they're still wrong. And that repentance, that admittance to them, that vulnerability to our kids, th that is... Uh, is a sign to them, it's a signal to them that that's not acceptable behavior. Right. And is it hard? You bet. Mm -hmm. It's hard to, to, to be that vulnerable, to say that to them. But when you see that it's really, their future is more important than my ego, right. mm -hmm. then you begin to see that it's more important for you to be honest with them. So what you're saying is if you can look into the future of the next generation, your children, mm -hmm. and you can grasp something about destiny or about what they're called to do, are you saying that will influence or affect the way you deal with your children? 
There's an old Arnold Schwarzenegger movie okay. called Terminator 2. <laughs> All right. And uh, a lot of people were just too spiritual. This book will give you hope that you never expected you could have. It helps you get the control of your life and your future. Get it today for yourself, your family, for their future. It is available at the toll-free number on the screen or at Destiny Image website. You can get it at your favorite online store or wherever you love to buy books. Buy it now.